guys, Marty Schwartz here with Marty Music, and I was just jamming along using this amazing app that I discovered called Moises. Moises is this really cool app that can take a song, in fact, right off of your iTunes, or you could upload a song from your music library into the app Moises, and what it will do is it'll process it, and it uses this AI, very similar to what they did in the new Beatles documentary, where they were able to use AI to isolate individual tracks to then mix better or to hear individual players' parts and dialogue and all that. So this AI will take a song, like I was using Back in Black, and it will actually isolate every individual track. If I was a singer and I wanted to sing any song or practice any song, I could use Moises, put a song that I want to practice singing into it and actually remove the vocals and use it as a backing track, which is amazing. So I see an application for tons of people that want to sing covers or do, you can make karaoke tracks. But as a guitar player, what I've been using it for is obviously isolating the guitar track so I can hear it by itself to teach it to you guys out there. When I saw that it claimed to do that, I was like, okay, if it does what it says it does, this is gonna be an amazing tool for me and for other guitar players and musicians. And sure enough, it worked amazing, and it does work amazing. So as a guitar player, uh, if I wanna teach a new song, whether it's Back in Black or some other new song that I wanna teach, I can actually put it into Moises, isolate each track, and then turn down the volume on everything but the guitar. Also, you can change the tempo. So if I was listening to a guitar track, I could actually slow the track down. So I can slow it down so much that I can, you know, hear each note of a riff and then break it down to learn it. You can change the key if you want, and you can also loop little sections that you're wanting to learn as well. Plus, because if you're, let, let's say you're a singer and you wanna sing, you know, make a video of you singing a cover and you want that backing track, you can take Moises and mix it however you want, you know, take the vocals completely out. So you can export the track that you mixed, or if you want, you can even export each individual track, you know, and you could lay, put it into a mixer or do all kinds of things with it. It's really an amazing tool. I'm gonna show you how it works right now. All right, let's check out how this thing works. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna pick some royalty-free Moises music that way for this YouTube video you can actually watch the video and see how it works. But just remember, you can take any song from your Apple music library or download any song that's in your, whatever music library you use and import it into this. I picked the classic, the classic, 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 driving at top speed. So we could pretend, you know, we uploaded one of our songs. When you put in a song, takes maybe a couple minutes, two or three minutes to process it all. It'll actually notify you when it's ready. And then you upload it and you would get an interface like the one we see here. Now, if you look at the top one, that's the vocals. I think this track that we're playing around with right now doesn't have vocals. But if I was playing any famous song, I could literally use the slider and turn the vocals all the way off. And then I would hear the track and there would be no vocals. Now, if I wanted to hear just the drums, I could fade, use these faders to turn everything, you see everything but the drums is turned down. Now, if we hit play, you'll hear that it's only the drums. So if there was some song that I just loved the drum beat of and I, it was an inspiration for me to write my own tune, I could literally take that original tune and just export the drum beat and write over it. But so there's the drums. If I hit play, I could fade up. And it's the bass. Fade this one up. It's the guitar, the lead guitar. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go back to the beginning and I'm gonna take the guitar out. And now I have a cool track that I can play. And it's showing me the chords, it's A minor, I can do A minor pentatonic. One, two, three, four. You know, 
I can see the chords, I can follow right along and jam right along to it. So some of the other functions though, once again, we can pretend this is some super famous song that you're trying to learn or isolate something. You have this function right here, bam. Hit play, check it out. It will slow it down, not bad. So I can hit reset and it'll bring it right back. Very cool, check this out. The trim function, you could just play one section if you wanted. And it's pretty easy, you can just find the little part you want and go right there and create a little, basically a loop. Very short. So if I wanted to learn, let's say, one of those lead guitar parts, I could learn, I could check out that part and I could slow it down. So I could loop a little section and slow it down. I could move it here. So I could literally sit and go. Bam, and that's how it works, folks. Let's just pick another one real quick. So we got a little blues rocky number here. It's giving us the chords. We've got all the tracks are just even right now. But let's just, uh, let's hear just the drums. And remember, this could be any song from your music library. Boom, just the drums. And I could just write my own riff if I wanted. And if I wanted, and I had a whole set like that, where let's say I was the guitar player, this band sent me their songs to learn, I could put the set that they want to play into Moises take out all the guitar, and then have that set to practice along to. Plus, as a guitar teacher, I can use it to isolate tracks, to learn them, slow them down, loop them. So I'm using Moises now as part of my workflow for what I do, and I think it's gonna be a great tool out there for all of you guys, whether you're practicing, learning, or performing. You can do any of those. The other thing is it works on mobile phone, iPad, and desktop. You can start with the free version, it gives you a certain amount of tools to work with, and then there's a paid version which will give you access to all the features it has. Anyway, hope you guys enjoy using it. I'm gonna leave a link below for you guys to check it out. Thanks for uh, watching, and hope to see you guys again soon. Take care.